Hey bro, my name is Devon. I'm a local painter. I thought you had a dope look. I was wondering if I could do a painting of you. How long? Uh, real quick. All right, let's go. Thank you. So what's your name and what's your biggest dream in life? Uh, my name is Kareem. It's a tough question, but I think my biggest dream in life, honestly, I want to be a full-time filmmaker eventually. Yeah. Get to that point in my life. I'm just creating films and like narratives forever, basically, you know? So when did you start loving filmmaking? When I was like 15, 16 years old. Yeah. I was being in the crib with Windows Movie Maker, making Tristan McGrady highlight videos and like for a wrestling video and shit. That. That's dope. What's your favorite movies watching growing up? I'm still a big Spike Lee fan. Yeah. Um, I love Do the Right Thing and Malcolm X, School Days. And then after that, I got really got into Stanley Kubrick, yeah. 2001 Space Odyssey, love that. As of lately, I've been really into Terrence Vance. I think my ultimate favorite movie that really, really got me started, it was that Jim Carrey movie. You ever seen The Truman Show? I've never seen it. When I saw that, I, I want to do that. I want to create like something yeah. like that, basically. Like, just everything I learned from that movie really got me started to like, yo, I want to yeah. do this full time. So who's your favorite all-time filmmaker? Like if you had to choose one, Probably the Spike Lee or Stanley Kubrick. Also, the cinematography, I love what they do with that. Where'd you grow up? I'm from Brooklyn, New York, south side of Williamsburg, Brooklyn. How do you feel about the Williamsburg that you grew up in versus the Williamsburg <laughs> right now? <laughs> I mean, like, it's a different Williamsburg, it's a different world, honestly. To where it is today, bro, it's like, it's, it's a different planet, bro. It's like, <laughs> let me wrong, like, I like it a lot still, you know. I go out there to eat all the time. I got family stuff out there. It's cool to chill and stuff like that. But I just seeing like, the drastic change. Right. Every time I go back, I see a new store. I see a new building, new, like, uh, condo, whatever like that. What was your proudest moment in life? I recently finished my first doc, like a short docu-series. I only did one episode so far. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote an episode two now. It did really well. Ended up getting, like, a, a streaming deal, like an indie company. To be able to have something that was just, like, an idea, that made me really proud. You know, you could think your work is trash today but next year you might be on Netflix you know I like how far my work has gotten yeah like compared to when I first started like looking back at the stuff that I, was, I used to do you no know, you see it you kind of cringe a little bit like, my fire these days you know when I'm back with it now I'm proud of myself you know I, when, when I look back on my old drawings I remember my mindset at the time like yeah. thinking like yo I'm, I'm nice I'm good with yeah, it yeah. and then today I'm like yeah. damn that's so embarrassing I yeah. thought that was good but then like you ever think back at something and then you just cringe like a random moment like why did I say that? Like all the time. <laughs> so like everything, we always gonna be evolving, you know? Yeah. And the stuff I'm trying to create these days is much more in tune with like where I'm at mentally. The things I'm interested in now is different than when I was when I was like 18 or 16. I feel like there's skill, but then there's also life. When you experience life, you almost get, become a better artist. Even like me talking to you right now, three years ago, I would have never thought, yeah. you know, let me go up to random people and start drawing them or painting them. <laughs> this is dope. I get to experience life with somebody and, and yeah. share it with the world. It'd be like, the, I do a lot of video stuff and I pull up on strangers as well. It makes you better. It's like being in the field, talking to strangers, meeting random people. It's fire. You, you ever get in TikTok or Instagram reels or anything like with, with the film, like content -wise? Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, like, um, I just started making TikToks, like personal TikTok, like a weekend recap, yeah. which is fun, because the first time that I could just create, it's like really, yeah. without ever thinking about like, all right, aesthetic or whatever, like, you just like, just having fun with it. It's not nothing you're trying to like, yeah. impress or anything like that. You're just doing your thing. I look at IG as like, a, as like a video platform, so I look at YouTube as a video platform, TikTok as one, so like. You know, in the art world, they started taking me less serious because I'm making TikToks, but I think that's an extension of my art. I don't like people do that though, because like, bro, this TikTok is here. You exactly. ignore it? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But I, I think people are going to catch up. It's like an yeah. old-minded thing. Yeah. When Netflix first came through, nobody thought it would be as big as it is today. So yeah, I'm not I'm not one of those people that's like afraid to change. That I'm embracing all that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I feel like it happens in every industry. Like yeah. People are scared to change, bro. I, I just had that discussion the other day with somebody. But like, once you get over that, the other side is evolution. TikTok changed my whole life. I was living in the Bronx, poor, with my grandma. So I would paint in the living room. Anyway, but then uploading TikToks, literally, it took me out of poverty. I was able to move to Manhattan. That's crazy. Yeah. Work with some of the biggest celebrities in the world. Like, I got invited by Joe Biden to what? come. What? Yeah, to come. <laughs> Biden hit you up? Yeah. That's crazy. Biden hit me up. That's crazy. Shout out to Biden. <laughs> <laughs> did, I drew him. We did a video together. And then he was looking at it. And he was like, I gotta hit you up for my presidential portrait. Like, and I was like, all right, I'll text you. And he started laughing, but hopefully he does call me yeah. because once you got through a presidential portrait for that yeah. generation, like my kids, kids, kids get to go see it. All based on TikTok. So that's shout crazy. out to TikTok, shout out to Biden. You met Biden, that's insane, bro. Shout out to my agency, UTA. They're like, yo, you uh, you free Friday to do the collab with uh, Biden? I was like, who? Right, which Biden? Which Biden? <laughs> Joey? <laughs>
crazy. I'll never forget that moment. Congrats so. on that, bro. Yeah, sure. thank you. If you could go back and give advice to your 18-year-old self, what would you tell yourself? Yeah, I would tell myself not to worry, you're gonna figure it out. You have the right idea. Yeah. Like, you know, I think back then I was like in doubt yeah. a lot, you know, trying to like achieve what I'm trying to do. Cause I didn't really know like uh, a path to get there. Yeah. So I was just doing whatever, I would intern, I would be like filming rappers and shit. Like, you at a club at 3 a.m. Oh, getting paid $20 and shit. Like, I didn't realize at the time I was building my like, you know, resume. I think, damn, this is gonna work. I was like, am I wasting my time? Like, yeah. you know, you three in the morning, you might think like, oh, how is this gonna help? But you build in yeah. skills, you build in hustle, you build yeah. so much skills. It's crazy, cause like, even in that regard, yeah. everything is content. content. Every brand needs content. Like you said, Biden, Biden needed content. Like, Biden needed content. Right. <laughs> Come on, exactly. we need content to change the world. Exactly. Like, back then, it was just like something to do. What was the first job you ever had in life? I did summer youth program at like 16. So like I was interning in the law department at MTA, making copies, just doing like all of that stuff. But like, do you think the stuff that you learned there helps you today? Uh, yeah, I think honestly, I think everything has helped me today. Like I think like even in terms of like corporate America, that was my first time really doing something like that, being in corporate world, yeah. being around other people that you know didn't grow from the same environment as me. And like that all you know carried over to what I do today for sure. Yeah. But where do you see? yourself in five years. Wait, I, I need your opinion. Does it look like him? Me? Same course. Thank you, thank you. That's crazy. Where are you guys from? France. Italy. France? Oh, nice. Italy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so that's fire, yeah. In five years, um, I'm gonna still be filmmaking for sure. I also want to be a bit more politically, you know, active. I think. Shout out to Biden. Yeah. Shout out to Biden. That's my dog. <laughs> yeah. I think the older I get, you know, the more interested I get in the politics, the more I learn about the world. Like, and then you start to like tap in a bit more. What's something you think you would change about this world? If I could change anything about the world, I would say I would love to have like more organization amongst like minorities, minority groups, and stuff like like just looking out for each other. Like, we understand that racism something that might never end. So is poverty might never end. Like, at least have people more organized and like, um, you know, kind of all in the same type of time when it comes to those type of things. Yeah, hell yeah, I agree with that. Um, what's one thing that you think growing up in Brooklyn taught you? I became mad vigilant. Like, you know, you gotta be, you know, aware. I also love the fashion. Growing up in New York, bro, fashion is everything. Like, you can yeah. tell so much about someone just by how they dress. The music, the culture, like, I'm, I'm Trinidadian. So growing up in like Caribbean, yeah. Brooklyn, you get to, get to experience both sides, you know? So I think like, overall, Brooklyn made me like a well rounded individual, you know? Who are some musicians you listen to right now? Yeah, I grew up listening to Jay-Z, of course, Kanye, Outkast, Nas, you know, Biggie. Yeah. But right now, I'm heavy into like, I'm into ESCG, I'm into Busy Banks, a lot of like super hardcore gangster rap music in the last few years, bro. So I work out to it. Oh yeah, and it just motivation. Gets, yeah, yo, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm a big rap fan for sure. What's one of your biggest fears in life? Regressing in life, falling back into like comfortable patterns I used to do. It feels like leading life with fear. I used to do that. With, yeah. you know, fear is like part of the decision making. I don't do that no more, you know? My fear is like to go back to that way of thinking. Is it good? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, yeah, it's painted. That's amazing. There's no photo in that? No, no, there's no photo. That's a compliment that you don't believe. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been going well. It's been going well. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. How are you? <laughs> but um, where are you from? Where? Russia. Russia? Oh, nice, oh, nice. Wow. You see what art does? You bring oh, yeah. the world together. No, I'm from Brooklyn. You're not from Russia? Nah, nah. nah. You're from Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you guys want to stay here for the reaction? All right, so Kareem, thank you for sharing your life with me. This is my interpretation of your life. Let me see. Damn, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> my G, good luck. Thank boy. you, thank you. Yeah, bro, wow. thank you, thank you for everything. So Check awesome. out Kareem. You're gonna, you're gonna catch him on Netflix, HBO. <laughs> Give me two years. I might own it. <laughs> that's yeah. fast. That's yeah. fast. Good luck. This is crazy, dog.